if you are having specialization in this field of psychology then and only then you should apply for iit delhi phd thing welcome back everyone once again to the video in today's video we are going to talk about phd from iit delhi and once you have qualified gate as well so in in this video we are going to talk about completely about how you can enroll yourself for the phd in iit delhi so make sure that you watch the video till the end and share with your friends who are aiming for doing phd from the iit delhi but 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 first of all we'll talk about the specialization if not it, it, there is no need to apply for this iit delhi thing if you want your chances you can take but if you are specialization are positive psychology social psychology intergroup relations social identity group based emotions social psychology of caste collective action and social change psychology of humiliation stigma and well-being leadership cognition cognitive neuroscience emotion judgment and decision making valuation of gains and loses and why so we'll talk about this thing in detail you are watching information brochure psycho professor english and we are going to talk about phd thing from iit delhi for this semester 2025-2026 okay so now this is of no or no use for you but if you want you can read but the important thing is that the last date for submission of online application and application fee is April 7, 2025. So you have approximately 6 to 5 days left before 4 p.m. So if you are eligible, you have qualified, you are you want to do PhD from IIT Delhi and you have specialization in this field, definitely you should apply for this particular thing. Okay. So now we will first of all start admission procedures and requirements for your PhD programs. Okay. So the award of the PhD degree is in recognition of high achievements, independent research and application of scientific knowledge to the solution of technical and scientific problems, creative and this, this, this. The details of research programs in various departments, centers, schools are given in Annexure 1. So you are shortly going to see Annexure 1 as well. But what is your department? Your department will be DHSS, Department of Humanities and Social Sciences. Now, admission to the PhD program. This is the earliest requirement. Before you apply for PhD, find yourself that are you eligible. Admission to the PhD program is normally made on the basis of an interview of eligible candidates. So there will be an interview conducted first of all. Okay. Conducted by the department, obviously DHSS. So the DHSS will guys will take you for the interview and 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 DRC, SCRC and SRC may decide to conduct a written test as well or multiple interviews or other ways or testing in order to screen the candidates as well okay so this is the thing so you will have two chances as well applications are invited from candidates by advertising the programs in employment news web portals in march for the first semester so you are applying for the first semester okay in the march and in october for the second semester every year now when your interview will happen they have also mentioned over here Normally, PhD programs are advertised in month of March, October each year and test interviews are carried out in the months of May and December. So obviously, you are going to apply or you are going to sit for the interview in the month of May or May, whatever you want to call. Okay. Now, further admission to the PhD program is possible at any time of the year. That is none of our use right now. Okay. They must join the institute within four weeks after the issue of admission and all these things not so much important now this is very very imp minimum qualifications for admission to full-time phd programs so most of you will fall under this full-time phd programs only table one defines the minimum qualifications required for admission to full-time phd programs at iit delhi where is table one table one we'll just find it shortly now there are institute minimum requirements and any department center can specify higher shortlisting criteria than what is specified here. So whatever is written over here, that is not the Bible, but they can use any higher shortlisting criteria. Maybe they can require more than 60%, more than 70% net qualified, JRF qualified and whatever they want. The shortlisting criteria, obviously this is IIT Delhi, so it is going to be high. In addition to the qualifying degrees listed in the shortlisting criteria, the consideration of equivalent degrees if any rest with the department DHSS. Okay, so if DHSS want that, okay, this is well enough, they can take you as well. And if you are in the final year of your program and who expect to complete all their qualifying degree before the date of registration, they are also eligible to apply for the admissions provided that you have to apply before a ad complete admission procedure. Now, 
we are going to look now for the qualifying degree minimum performance in the qualifying degree and qualification through national level exam requirement okay now this is very very imp very very imp for all of you now first of all none of you would have done this 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 if done then there is no requirement for this thing but if you have done msc mba and ma most of you will fall under this msc and ma thing 60% marks so for doing phd the main primary requirement is 60% marks in your masters and then what qualified gate csir udc net so for humanities and social sciences only gate and udc net will be considered so your net score will matter obviously 180 net score is sitting for phd uh, have applied for phd interview and 220 have applied for interview they will make a difference over there okay so your high score in gate as well udc net they have their own criteria to ask for so they will tell you or they will call you for interview obviously you will understand that that you are suitable for them so this is the primary requirement 60 percent marks plus gate score or udc net grf whatever score you are having this is the primary requirement for getting admitted or to apply for iit delhi phd admission thing okay now they have given relaxation over here and requirements of qualification in gate national exam is waived for the following categories of applicants so there is a lot of confusion that that this is waived off for everyone but this is not the case for these all applicants the gate or national exam is exempted okay either you have done cfti centrally funded technical institutes btech be integrated pursuing you have pursued all these things okay such student must obtain a cgp of 8.0 there are different requirements graduates of cftis or ma or msc graduates from iits with cgpa 8.1 or above so, okay so if you have done msc from iit with a cgp of 8.2 you are exempted from all these things okay so this is the benefit you get when you are qualified or when you have studied from the iits that you have been exempted from all these gate and net examinations now for purposes of shortlisting the primary method of evaluation that is cgpa cpi or aggregate percentage so what is the primary method of evaluation is your total percentage in your masters followed by the institution where candidate has obtained his or qualifying de degree will be used by iit delhi for determining whether the candidates meet the final shortlisting requirement so your cgpa score is the primary method for evaluation followed by the if you have qualified gate or not or what not okay for assistant purposes only and not for qualification this is not off or use for candidates with ma in english not applicable to us and now we are talking about the minimum qualification for admission to part-time and sponsored so see part-time and sponsored you can do only and only if you are employee of psu public sector undertaking or government departments and you want to conduct the phd then and only then you are eligible for the part-time or sponsored full-time phd programs from iit delhi okay that is not the point right now and this is the thing for the sponsored and part-time candidates okay apart from that template of noc is available on the iit delhi pg admission website and this is not again the requirement as of now for you in particular okay so what is the primary thing over here now we are talking about mtech so now we will just sum up that for doing phd from iit delhi you must have 60 percent in your masters ma msc plus you should be gate qualified and what at net okay your score will matter or not it completely depends upon the dhss how many applicants how they are getting over there but 60 percent and your cgpa or your complete aggregate marks are the primary method for your evaluation either you are suitable for this or not so now how to apply this is the application procedure you have to click on this link submit 200 rupees fill the register yourself first of all and then fill the basic requirements and then you will be done with the application form if you are selected you will be called for the interview based on your scores gate score net score or your primary evaluation thing the percentage marks separate application form should be filled for phd program for each department so you are obviously applying for phd in psychology and you have to be qualified with either gate or net that is the mandatory thing for you okay now hostel accommodation you will be given and all these things you can read in your free time but the primary thing is you are called for the interview and rest all is the secondary part okay now financial assistant and other support will be given a scheme for the award of teaching research assistantship for providing financial assistance to student exist 
you can read this thing completely 37000 per month first two years and for the next three you get 42 other conditions and benefits also you can just read on your own okay this is not the concern if you're doing from iit delhi everything will fall on its own time but the primary thing is you have to be either gate qualified or UTC net qualified for this particular thing okay so now talking about the specialization why i told you that you have to be specialized in these research topics or research points why because they have mentioned in this brochure itself department of hs dhss code huz literature sociology psychology and this psychology and this cognitive psychology is the utmost cognitive neuroscience sorry is important thing and see what they have mentioned in the complete brochure in only and only dhss in only and only this point or re these research topics they have mentioned Candidates must refer to the department website this for details of on areas of specialization in which applications will be considered Okay, so you will only be considered if you are applying if your research topics and all those points are like this Psychology positive psychology social psychology intergroup cognitive neuroscience Sigma well-being leadership cognition So if you are someone who is interested or whose research topic is somewhat related to all these topics then IIT Delhi will consider your application and if not then they will definitely not even bother to take a look at it but it's just complete on their own discretion by DHSS okay so this is the primary requirement if you are having these research topics these research points then and only then you should take your chances in IIT Delhi otherwise you can wait for other IITs and all those things but mostly everything is covered they are taking each and every topic I guess from each and every units okay and so if you want to go ahead and research and do PhD from IIT Delhi then all these topics are interesting for you and you can go ahead with all these things okay so this was it for your IIT Delhi thing if you want to get admission in IIT Delhi for PhD purposes or you your areas of specialization AOP sorry AOS should be like these positive psychology stigma social well-being and all those things and you must have 60% in your masters plus you have must have qualified net and gate they have not mentioned about score anywhere but i guess they will consider but first of all what will they will consider is the percentage of your score above 60% either you are scoring 75 or 80 or 90 in your masters as well that is very high high but it's okay you have to take your chances and you have to apply for iit delhi if you are interested and if your research fields are following under this category I hope you liked the video you would have got some knowledge over here about how you can apply and how you can go ahead so gate score is not like that that it is not important it is IMP so if you are watching for 2026 session or 2027 session you must give gate psychology or UDC net psychology if you want to sit for IIT Delhi and if you want to do PhD and go ahead in the research field okay so if you want to also they are also providing MSc in cognitive sciences so if you have not watched that video if you want to do your masters from there in MSc in cognitive science about IIT Delhi then you can check the link in the description as well or you can just go to the previous video there you will find the complete details for how you can go for MSc cognitive science as well with this this is psycho professor English see you all in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day